Upon returning from his latest trip to Cuba this week, Hugo Chavez went to a Roman Catholic shrine in western Venezuela to pray and give thanks. He told cheering crowds that he no longer had any malignant cells in his body. It was just four months ago exactly, more or less at this time, that I was in the operating room in Cuba, where I underwent a seven-hour-long operation for cancer. And it is a miracle that I am here four months later, standing before you. But days before Chavez's triumphal return, a Venezuelan doctor told this Mexican magazine, Milenio, that from what Chavez's family has told him, the president's prognosis is not good and that his life expectancy may be as little as two years. The interview garnered little attention until Saturday, when Dr. Salvador Navarrete, in a letter to the Venezuelan newspaper Tal Cual, said he has had to flee Venezuela. Navarrete says he fears Chavez's death could destabilize the country and urged the government to be more open about the president's condition. Physicians treating Chavez in Caracas reacted quickly and claimed Navarrete was uninformed and had had little contact with the president. Dr. Salvador Navarrete does not have any of the scientific knowledge necessary to make pronouncements on the state of health of President Chavez, much less the type of cancer he had or the prognosis of his health. The doctors would not reveal what type of cancer Chavez suffered from, but they said he would have to take care of himself. Still, that won't stop Chavez from showing off how much energy he still has, but rumors about his health will continue to swirl. Roger Wilkinson, Al Jazeera.